Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week I'm going to do part two in taking a look at my favorite task management application, and that's Things. And so in part one, I give you an overview of how Things works, including all the different features and things that are inside of it. Uh, this week what I want to do is I want to show you how I use Things in terms of a workflow so you can get an idea of all the different elements that are available and things that you can use. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come up, up to the preferences for Things. And what I'm going to do is talk about Things Cloud. Now, Things has a cloud storage and sync uh, built right into it. That is really good. It works well. It works fast and efficiently. And it'll allow you to keep your task lists in sync across all your devices. So what I'm going to do is just turn that on so I can sync it. And you can create a new account here or log in. I'm going to log in because I have an account. So let me go ahead and put in that information. Okay, now that I got my password in there, just click on continue. And what it's going to do is log me in. And then it asks me a couple questions. Do I want to keep all my to-dos, uh, so the ones in here and the ones that I have in the cloud, keep only the to-dos from the cloud, or keep only the to-dos on this Mac? I'm just going to keep the ones from the cloud because I'm just going to load all those in here. And I'm going to click on Continue. And so you can see that right now it's going through updating my to-dos. And it's going to take a little bit of time doing that, so I'm going to let it uh, progress through that. I'll progress through that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we are back with the sync having taken place. And so now I've got everything in sync with the Things Cloud. And so this is a working uh, list of things that I have in my task list right now. You can see I've got areas where I've got things for, uh, you know, what I do for my day job. I've got my screencasting stuff, some consulting that I do, some ministry stuff, and then personal. And so I've got those as areas. I've got a couple of just active projects that I've put out. Uh, I've got a few more things to put together. I've got our inbox, our today, and all that kind of stuff there. And so I've got a couple of contacts, and this is where you can assign projects to certain individuals, and it's myself and my wife. And so this is, this is my setup. And now let me uh, show you just a few things on how this works. Uh, for instance, uh, a filled out project, um, you know, one that I'm working on here, this is an iPad versus Mac series. And so I've got all these different uh, things laid out here uh, that I've got set up. I've got a screencasting tag and at computer, so I can look at those uh, either way that I want to check them out. If I just want to look at what things can I do when I'm sitting at my computer or what things can I do uh, in terms of screencasting, I can just hit those tags and it'll show me all of that information. Uh, but this is how I've got things laid out. Now there's a couple of other features built into things. Uh, another thing that you've got for the desktop, if we just come over here to the side here, there is a things wid widget that will show uh, all of your things that are due coming up. In order to put that in place, you just go to edit, and then on the side here will be the things uh, widget that you just add, and that'll show up in here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say done and put that back. So this is a way that you can access your various tasks just from the sidebar if you don't have things open. And if you click on it, it'll open things to wherever that particular item is. So let me just go ahead and slide that shut. Uh, another thing I can do is use the quick entry to put things into my things database. So for instance, if I just go to mail, so here I am inside of mail, and what I did is I hit the uh, forgot your password button just so I'd have a particular email in here. And let's say I want to make that a task. Now if you remember we assigned keyboard shortcuts before to have the quick entry. But let's say I want to select all of this uh, information here, uh, and I want to turn it into an actual things uh, task. Okay, so let's say I select all this text. Now what I can do is I can hit my quick entry key, so let me do that real quick for the autofill. And so I get this, and what it does is it brings up this page here where it's got my a link to that particular email, and then all I need to do is just fill in reset password, let's say, and I can choose where to put it. I'm going to put it in the inbox and all that, say save, and now it's off, okay, and everything is, is sent. Another way that I can do this, I've got a, uh, another application that I'll show you later that allows you to select the text and has a quick link to send it in there. Okay, but I'll show you that in another screencast so I can show you how to set it up. So that's one thing that I can do there with, uh, with this particular setup with email. So let me just go ahead and put this down and we'll come back into things here. So that gives you an idea of, of just kind of how to start to use things on your desktop. And you can do this with different uh, web pages as well. Uh, so hold on a second, let me pull up a website and show you how that works. 
Okay, so here I am over on a website, and let's say I want to remember to watch part one, because I haven't watched part one, let's say, of things here. Uh, you'll notice we have the share icon up here. If I just click on that share icon and come down to more here, it's going to bring up system preferences, and in the extensions area, if I just scroll down here, I've got this add to things. If I just click on that, that's going to add that to the list, and of course I can move it up wherever I want to move it. Let's say I want to put it closer to the top there. And I'm going to go ahead and close that down now. Come back in here and hit this, and you can see I've got an Add to Things button. If I just click on that, it brings up the new to-do. It's got a link right to the website. I can say Watch Things 1 and put it in the inbox and say Save. And then if I just pop this down and come back into the inbox, you'll notice there's my Watch Things item. If I just double click on it, I've got a link that'll take me right back into that website and reference it. And so anywhere you see the uh, share button, wherever you want to, uh, wherever you have that in an application, if you click that, it'll share that with your things uh, task list. And like I said, you can put it into a project or into the inbox, wherever you'd like to put it. So those are a few workflows that you can use right on the Mac. Uh, one, of the, one of the great things about this application is that it works across iOS and Mac devices and syncs really well. So let me go over to my iOS device here and let me show you how that works. Okay, so here we are with my iPhone uh, right next to things on the Mac, uh, just to give you an idea of what they look like and how they contrast. And so here again, if I tap on the inbox, you'll see that it changes over and you can see I've got the same items there in my inbox. If I just tap into an item, it will actually bring it up this way for me, and you can see the iOS app slide to the side. I can just tap back to get back. So you can see that I've got uh, the identical setup here on my iPhone with all this information plugged in. Now, one of the beauties of the iPhone is the fact that all of the different share functions are built across the device. And so let me give you an idea of how I can add things into my Things database and then watch it sync over to the Mac. Okay, here we are over on Safari on my iPhone. And so I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to tap the share icon at the bottom. And you notice I've got this uh, share area down here that I can scroll through. And you see I've got an add to things there. I'm going to tap on add to things. It's going to bring up this page. See, it's got the link on there again. And I can say, again, I can just tap in watch part one. And I'll just put that down just so that it distinguishes it. So I'm going to say watch part one. I'm going to say save. And now it's going to save that into my Things uh, inbox so that that will be uh, all set in there. And uh, eventually I'll be able to go take a look at it. So I've got that on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to another application. So like even in the App Store here, let's say I want to remember to buy or play Super Mario Brothers Run. So if I just tap the Share again, Add to Things. And so it's going to bring this up here. And I'll just say Buy App and put that in as a to-do, and I'm going to say save, and now it's going to save that into things as well. So it's starting to add uh, other things into my things database. So I've got that there, and let's just double-click on this. I can do the same thing in email. If I just, this is in uh, Spark, if I just tap the icon down here, hit the more area, and there we got add to things again, and so I can add this email. And the nice thing is that it puts all the text in for me, and I can say reset password, and get that on there and so I'm gonna save that into things now let me go back in here for a minute over to things we're just gonna scroll over to things itself and so notice I've saved seven things inside of things there right so like you can see I've got watch part one that's shown up here on, on there I've got reset password that I just put there with a link back to that particular email that is set on there and let's go back here and so, and then reset and reset password and all that. So I've got all of those things inside my things database. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you once I uh, get over here to highlight the things application on the Mac, you'll see how it'll sync all that information over. Okay, so here I am back in things for the Mac, and you can see all of my information is over here. Uh, what I realized, you had to you have to actually click off of the particular item that you're in for the sync to add everything because it assumes you're working on it and doesn't want to add it while you're working on it. So, uh, but you can see everything's everything's in sync between my iOS device and my actual things database. Now, the beauty of this is is that I can keep all of these things in sync across all of my devices. And it, uh, it really makes it nice to have my task list wherever I'm going. 
Uh, so that gives you an idea of some of the workflows that are built into things. Um, it does it does have some Siri integration where you can actually integrate it with uh, the Reminders app that's built into um, Mac on iOS and on the Mac. Uh, you can actually do that integration. Uh, in fact, let me just come back here. I'll show you inside here. You can see that you have Reminders in Siri. And so you can show the reminders, you can show the time-based reminders and location-based reminders. It doesn't support uh, those things like alarms and location and all of that, but it will actually add these particular tasks into your database. Uh, so let me, uh, let's see if I can uh, do that just to sort of show you how it works. Siri, remind me to buy milk. Okay, so there's my reminder to buy milk. So that's on there. If I pop out of Siri here, if I just tap back to settings, and I'm going to say done here. Notice I've got this, um, let's go done. Now notice I've got this new um, icon here. If I just tap on it, you'll see that it says from reminders, uh, I've got this buy milk. And so what I can do is select it, and I can choose to import it or move it somewhere. So I'm just going to import it into the inbox. If I didn't want it there, I could tap on move and put it wherever I want. I'm going to say import. And so now it's added it to my list that I'm supposed to buy milk now. And so again, you can see now it's in sync with my things on the desktop uh, to buy milk. So you can use Siri to remind yourself of things that you want to get done. So again, things has all of the different items integrated to really make the workflow work well. So hopefully that helps you understand how to use one of my favorite apps, and that's things for your own task management. That's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddholtoff.com.